Here we have some word problems that can be solved using a system of equations. Um, the way you can tell whether a word problem needs a system of equations to solve it is usually because uh, they're asking for more than one thing. If we look at this first problem, it says there's a drama class that has a certain number of students. There's some fact about how many uh, more or less females there are than the number of males. And then it says how many males and how many females are in the class. So there's two things that are being asked for here. The way I like to start these problems is at the end. Uh, I like to look at what is being asked for and then assign them some variables. We don't know how many males are being uh, are in this class, so we're going to call that x. We don't know how many females are in this class, so we're going to call that y. So those are our variables. If we have two variables, we need to come up with two equations that use x and y. So let's see if we can get that from these facts up here. The first fact is a drama class has a total of 42 students. Well, since x represents how many males, y represents how many females, and there are only males and females in the class, we could say x plus y equals 42. So that's an equation we can write with those two variables. Let's take a look at this next uh, sentence. It says the number of females is 14 less than the number of males. So let's see if we can translate that into an equation. The number of females we're going to call y. And then we have this word is. So that's equals 14 less than the number of males. Well, the number of males is x. How do we get 14 less than x? We just subtract. So now I have two equations for my two variables, I can actually go about solving this. And you can solve this however you want. You can use the elimination method. You can use the substitution method. In this case, it's already solved. This equation down here is already solved for y. So I can say in the first equation that y equals x minus 14. And I can just substitute that in. So I think I'm going to do that. I'll use the substitution method. So I'll rewrite this top equation as x plus, And instead of y, it's x plus x minus 14. And that equals 42. And let's see, x plus x would be 2x. x plus a negative 14 is negative 14. That equals 42. And then I want to get the x term alone, so I'm going to add 14 to both sides. So I would get 2x equals 56. And then divide by 2. And we're going to get x equals 28. We're not quite done, though. We found the number of males in the class. We need to know the number of females. And of course, I'll just take this 28 and plug it in back up here. So I would have 28 plus the number of females equals 42. And to find y, I'd just simply subtract 28. Oops. And we would get y equals 14, I believe. All right, so my answer here is x equals 28, y equals 14. If they want that as an ordered pair, it'd be 28, 14. But that's uh, the first one. Let's take a look at this second one. This is another common type of these problems that will pop up uh, involving numbers. It says the sum of two numbers is 33. One number is two times as large as the other. What are the numbers? So we're looking for two things here, two numbers. I'm going to call them x and y. And then I just need to write two equations using these facts. The first fact is the sum of those two things is 33. So that's not too tough. That's x plus y equals 33. And then it says one number is two times as large as the other. So I can say x is two times as large as y. And that would just be x equals two times y. And then we can go about solving this. Again, uh, it's pretty easy to use the um, substitution method. I'll just put in this for x up here. So this equation on top would become 2y plus y equals 33. So that's 3y on top. Uh, on the left here equals 33. If we divide by 3, oops, we get y equals 11. 
And then you can probably do this subtraction pretty quickly in your head. Um, but if you want to solve this algebraically, you'd plug this y equals 11 up here and then solve for x. What you're going to get is x equals 22. And yes, x is twice as big as y. So that's a couple of problems where we have a word problem and we need to find two things. And so we use a system of equations to find them.